Hey, Mike Salk here, and with the Mariners' season now sort of going in the wrong direction, you got to find something to be positive about, and right now, that is only the youth movement. And obviously, we've seen what Justin Smoke can do. We've seen the big power. We've seen his ability to hit a couple of home runs, his ability to just muscle a ball out of a park, and it's going to take some time for a 23-year-old to get to where he needs to be. But what about some of the guys who right now are in AAA or below that? Obviously, Dustin Ackley, we've heard a ton about him. He's hitting about 270. He's got three doubles and a home run just in six games since coming up to the AAA level. It's going to be hard for him. He's going to have some setbacks at that level, but I think by next year, we could be thinking about Dustin Ackley as a regular second baseman, if not the beginning of the year sometime maybe by middle of next year. Michael Pineda has had some success, also some setbacks at AAA, the young pitcher who throws really, really hard with a nasty diabolical slider that Dave Niehaus will tell you about. Still going to be some time on Pineda. Now, delving a little deeper, some of the guys that maybe you've heard of but don't think about nearly as much, the guy that they are incredibly excited about right now, and talking to Pedro Grafal and some of the other people around the Mariners, Pedro Grafal is their uh, farm director, Greg Hallman. Remember the name? He was the superstar in terms of his athletic ability, five tools, but could he actually play baseball well enough to put it together? Well, right now, he's cut down his strikeout rate, which had been astronomical, at least to a normal level, and he's crushing the baseball. 22 home runs so far this year for AAA Tacoma. He's only 22 years old. He's still very young and very raw. He's not going to be ready this year, but maybe by uh, next September, you could see a guy like Hallman come up and contribute to the majors, and I think it also puts a little pressure on a guy like Michael Saunders to contribute as well. In the low minors, there's some nice success stories as well. Nick Franklin is the shortstop who was drafted, I believe, in the first round of the supplemental round last year. And so far, they love him. He is out of his league a little bit as a 19-year-old in high A in the Midwest League, but he has acquitted himself nicely there. Also, another guy to look for is Rich Poitras. He's young. He's a uh, college guy who they drafted in the second round last year out of Georgia, but he has power. And power hitters are rare these days in the minors. He's top 10 in a very good hitting league in uh, for hot, their high desert single A team. Look for Rich Poitras to continue to make movement through the organization. He could still be two, three, maybe even at most four years away, but always good to have those power hitters buried in your uh, in your system. That's what we got for today. Take another look at this soon.